In the realm of television, one standout series emerged in 1987, capturing the imaginations of viewers and securing its place in the annals of science fiction Star Trek, The Next Generation. Have you ever found yourself reflecting on a specific scene or moment from this iconic show that left an indelible mark on your memory? Alternatively, what enduring qualities do you believe have elevated TNG to the status of an everlasting symbol within the entertainment industry? As we delve into the world of Star Trek, the next generation, let's uncover some intriguing facets of this groundbreaking series. Did you know that TNG was the first Star Trek series to air in syndication rather than on a network? This shift allowed the show to cultivate a dedicated fan base that spanned the globe, attesting to its broad appeal. Now, imagine engaging with the crew of the Starship Enterprise, led by the diplomatic and charismatic Captain John Luke Picard, portrayed by the venerable Patrick Stewart. The show's unique ability to blend futuristic exploration with ethical dilemmas and complex characters contributed to its enduring resonance. The utopian vision of the future presented in TNG, characterized by unity, diversity, and diplomacy, resonated deeply with audiences and set it apart from its contemporaries. Before we beam down to more details, consider this. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Star Trek? The Next Generation we invite you to share your stories and reflections in the comments below, fostering a community of fans bound by a shared appreciation for this iconic series. Now, as we navigate through the rich tapestry of Star Trek, the next generation, let the anecdotes and insights shape our collective appreciation for a show that continues to inspire generations. Star Trek The Next Generation, the iconic 1987 TV series, emerged as a visionary extension of Gene Roddenberry's groundbreaking 1960s original. Set in the 24th century, a century after Captain Kirk's adventures, the show follows the intrepid crew of the Starship Us Enterprise D as they explore the far reaches of space. Led by the wise and diplomatic Captain John Luke Picard, Portrayed with gravitas by Sir Patrick Stewart, the crew comprises diverse characters, including the android Lieutenant Commander Data, the empathic counselor Deanna Troy, and the Klingon security chief Worf. The series boldly ventured into moral and philosophical territory, addressing complex issues through its episodic narratives. Its episodic structure allowed for standalone stories while maintaining an overarching narrative. The show was known for its optimistic vision of the future, emphasizing diplomacy and cooperation over conflict. Visually, the next generation marked a significant leap forward, featuring impressive special effects for its time. The impact of the next generation on popular culture is immeasurable. It revitalized the Star Trek franchise, garnering critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. It pioneered syndication success, demonstrating that a sci-fi series could thrive without a major network. Its influence extends beyond the screen, shaping the discourse on ethics, diversity, and technological advancement. The series, with its memorable characters, engaging storytelling, and optimistic outlook, has left an enduring mark on the sci-fi genre and remains a cultural touchstone for generations of viewers. In the inaugural episode of Star Trek, the next generation, titled Encounter at Farpoint, fans were treated to a special appearance by Admiral Leonard H. McCoy. M.D., the iconic character from the original Star Trek series graced the Enterprise D as an honored guest, escorted in a nod to the franchise's rich history. This cameo set the stage for the next generation's exploration of the future, while paying homage to its predecessor. Interestingly, behind the scenes, the show faced uncertainties during its early days. Patrick Stewart, who portrayed the wise Captain John Luke Picard, harbored doubts about the series' success. For the first six weeks of shooting, he kept his suitcases packed, unconvinced that the show would endure. This skepticism adds a layer of intrigue to the early days of the next generation and the journey of its now beloved captain. As the series progressed, a pivotal moment in its narrative was tied to Patrick Stewart's contract negotiations. The season three finale, The Best of Both Worlds, was not only a gripping episode but also linked to Stewart's contractual considerations. His contract expiring after the third season, negotiations played a crucial role. The stakes were high if an agreement had not been reached. Captain Picard's fate hung in the balance, with potential plans for a dramatic exit in the season four opener. 
These behind-the-scenes dynamics, from homage-filled premieres to actor uncertainties and contract negotiations, offer a unique glimpse into the making of Star Trek. The Next Generation Beyond its on-screen exploration of the future, the series navigated its own challenges, ultimately leaving an indelible mark on the sci-fi genre and solidifying its place in the pantheon of iconic television. In the vast universe of Star Trek, the next generation, subtleties often hide behind the scenes, adding layers to the iconic series. One such detail lies in the camaraderie between Captain John Luke Picard and Commander William Riker. Picard's habit of addressing Riker as number one goes beyond mere nomenclature. Rooted in British naval history, this tradition designates the first officer as number one. Interestingly, this term echoes back to the original Star Trek series pilot, The Cage, where the otherwise unnamed first officer was also referred to as number one. Beyond the command dynamics, the series carried its own set of challenges, evident in the meticulous craftsmanship behind Lieutenant Worf's character. Played by Michael Dorn, the formidable Klingon's distinctive makeup required a two-hour application process. This commitment to authenticity contributed to the richness of Worf's character and added a layer of realism to the show's diverse cast. Delving even deeper, the transporter chamber on the US Enterprise D holds a subtle nod to its predecessor. The ceiling of the chamber is, in fact, the floor of the transporter chamber from the original Enterprise in Star Trek. This subtle detail seamlessly connects the technological evolution between the two series, illustrating the thoughtfulness woven into the next generation's production. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into the naming conventions, makeup intricacies, and set design choices shed light on the meticulous craftsmanship that shaped the world of Star Trek, the next generation. As the crew ventured into the far reaches of space, the series, both on and off-screen, left an indelible mark on the sci-fi genre, solidifying its place in television history. The first season of Star Trek, The Next Generation introduced a rotating cast of chief engineers, including MacDougall, Argyle, Logan, and Lynch, each appearing in separate episodes. This unique approach sparked early speculation about Argyle's potential permanence, as he made two appearances and was also featured in early novels and DC Comics limited series based on the show. However, the chief engineer's role eventually settled with LaForge from the second season onwards. This behind-the-scenes insight adds an interesting layer to the series' development, showcasing the initial experimentation with key roles and the eventual establishment of the iconic chief engineer position. The dynamic evolution of the engineering team provides a fascinating glimpse into the show's early creative decisions and how they shaped the enduring legacy of Star Trek, the next generation. As we bid adieu to the captivating cosmos of Star Trek, the next generation, let's traverse the celestial expanse of our memories, where starships sailed through the vast sea of imagination. Whether you've journeyed alongside Captain Picard's wisdom, Data's quest for humanity, or the magnetic allure of the holodeck, these voyages extend beyond the confines of the screen. In the tapestry of time, we find the threads of connection how this series, born in 1987, wove itself into the very fabric of our lives. As you reflect on encounters with Klingons, Romulans, and the enigmatic Q, consider the moments that tethered you to the Enterprise's odyssey. Was it the camaraderie of the bridge crew, the ethical quandaries posed by the Prime Directive, or the hope embedded in a future where diversity and unity coexist? Now, as the cosmic curtain falls on this chapter, share with us the pulsars of your recollections. What echoes of engage reverberate in your mind, and which nebulae of nostalgia stir your soul? Your memories, like dilithium crystals, power the ongoing voyage of Star Trek's legacy. As we navigate the celestial currents of memory, I extend gratitude for your time and for embracing the frontier of thought and wonder that Star Trek, the next generation, has offered. Your stories are warp signatures in the continuum of shared experience. Thank you for enriching this collective cosmic tapestry. May your reflections be as boundless as the final frontier itself, and may the warp core of your imagination never cease its hum. Live long and prosper in the memories of Star Trek, the next generation.